Alright guys, welcome back into another NBA DFS video. Got the 12-22 picks here for you. It is a small two-game slate. Got the Warriors versus the Nets and the Clippers versus the Lakers. So it is a two-game slate. So it's not one that I overly aggressively want to attack, but it is the first NBA slate. So I'm pretty excited for it. We'll start off here with the Warriors. I actually really do like Steph Curry in this one. He's a guy that shot the ball over 20 times in each of the two preseason games. Now they only did have two preseason games, so they kind of used those as definitely you know warm-up games for this season we kind of saw the starters play extended minutes they all saw right around 25 or more minutes in each game backups played right around 20 minutes so we have a pretty good indication of what's going to go on for the warriors at least right now it's going to be the steph curry show um he had 29 points in both of the games actual points not dk points so i really like him at this price point uh you know i think he's going to get right around 50 points um, in terms of andrew wiggins and kelly Oubre, i like them both a decent amount i think they're both gonna have some really high ceiling games now maybe for you know this specific slate we kind of just split them 50 50 i would prefer kelly Oubre a little bit more kind of like his upside a little bit more but really it's going to be whichever one gets hot with their shot we have to wait on the news on draymond green um gotta see if he's going to play he is doubtful currently but we know in the nba that can change overnight so we'll have to wait and see on that but if he does it eric pasquale could be a nice little play there at 3.8 he's a guy that you know came through Really well at the end of the season playing, you know, solid minutes. Had some solid DK production. Uh, if he gets right around 25 minutes at 3.8, I think he's easily going to hit value. I think he's easily going to be able to get 20 DK points. So I do like him as a play. I don't mind Kevon Looney. I do think he's priced up a little bit too much. He's priced pretty much at his ceiling. So that does worry me. A player that I do like a decent amount is actually going to be Marquise Chris. He shot the ball a ton um, in the two preseason games, averaging 10 shot attempts. Uh, he's a guy that always rebounds the ball as well. So for this price point for Marquise Chris, who the guy that's going to be playing in the second unit, it appears that is something that is pretty intriguing to me. So, you know, I do like a decent amount of the players here on the Golden State Warriors side of the ball. And I will say Kent Bazemore will probably be operating in, um, the unit number two for the Warriors. He's a guy that can go on and get some buckets as well. He kind of pats the stat sheet all over the place as well. So I don't mind him. Against the Brooklyn side of the ball, not that much that I love just because we don't exactly know what's going to kind of happen with the secondary guys now. Secondary guys, you got Spencer Dinwiddie there, uh, Karis LeVert there, uh, even Tony and Prince. You know, these are guys that are pretty good NBA players, but now with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving both there, we don't know exactly what to expect. Uh, are the Mets going to be spread out? Uh, who's going to get the usage? You know, that those are the questions that we need to ask. They're all kind of priced up a decent amount. Now, I don't mind uh, Ky Kyrie Urban at 8.5. I don't mind that. I think he's going to be a stellar play. Kevin Durant as well. I think he might be priced up a little bit too much for me on this slate. Uh, although I don't mind him. Obviously, he can go off on any slate. So for me, for the most part, I'm going to be staying away from the Brooklyn Nets. Then we're going to get into the LA game, if you will. Uh, decent amount of quality plays here. Uh, Dennis Schroeder, you got to wait and see on the news on him, uh, if he's going to play or not. So, you know, that could open up some decent value here, open up a, you know, a decent amount of usage there where some of these other guys, maybe it's just more point guard LeBron. Obviously if we get point guard LeBron. That's something that's appealing to everyone. So we're, we're going to be playing him. Luke Kennard is actually one of the best values on the slate. I think, uh, we have to kind of wait and see the news. Is he going to be in the rotation? I would guess that he is. He's a guy that played 22 minutes in uh one of their preseason games uh was shooting the ball a decent amount he's a guy that you know we saw really come on strong for uh detroit last year and he's a guy that i do like a decent amount so if he's going to be getting those minutes that is something that is intriguing to me and at 3.6 that is something that i don't think i can really pass up on uh, he's a guy that played well pretty much throughout the whole preseason well as well for the clippers so luke Kennard, i don't want to say lock for a value play but he is very intriguing to me as a value play so he's going to be a guy i'm looking at um in this one and then after that it's really going to be filling in where you guys see fit i do like Montrez harrell as well um i think he's going to be right around where he's priced he's going to finish right around where he's priced but you know here's what we're looking at if you want to fit serge Bach in there you can we got to see kind of what he's going to do uh, for the Clippers, I could expect him to kind of be a decent player there. Uh, Zubak is priced pretty cheap as well. If he gets 20 minutes, I do think he could easily hit value. But, you know, AD, LeBron, you know, obviously you guys want to try to fit those guys into your builds. But for tonight specifically, I'm going to be trying to fit Curry in there more so than those two. Obviously, you, you guys can fill in where you see fit. If you want to go LeBron, you could easily do that. If you want to go uh, Anthony Davis, 
you can easily do that as well so let's just you know put lebron in there you have a decent amount of salary left over you guys can fill in kind of where you see fit this is something you can do easily so not a bad nba dfs slate to start off with i'm pretty excited hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did i would appreciate a like and subscribe if you guys want you can head over to the nine to five sports page as well check that out got a lot of content out there for kind of nba nfl and pga all right thanks for watching guys we're out